everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be showing you how to make these potato spinach rolls. It's a very fast recipe that can be used for appetizers for a party or just as a little snack on the daily. If you'd like to see how to get this then please keep on watching. First we're going to start off with one teaspoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of basil leaves and one teaspoon of rosemary. These will be used to season our potatoes. Speaking of potatoes, we'll be using four, two red and two white potatoes. We'll also be using two and a half cups of grated cheese and we use the grated cheese. So we use triple cheddar and this is the brand that we use for the cheese. So it's a Sensations brand, but you can use any cheese that you'd like. We're also using two tablespoons of vegetable oil and also a medium sized bowl of spinach. Alright, so now that we have our ingredients, we're going to move on to preparation. So first you're going to start off by preparing your potatoes, where you're going to cut off the ends of the potato and you're going to discard those. Next you're going to put the potato upwards and then you're going to slice down into slices. Now these slices can't be too thick and they also can't be too thin. If they're too thick, then um, the potato won't roll properly when you finish baking it. And if it's too thin, then it won't the potato slices won't stay together cohesively with the cheese. So just try to average the thickness and thinness of your slices. And also don't be afraid to if you chip a couple slices that are smaller than the actual size. Th those pieces can be used around the corners of your pan just so that you have all of the areas covered with potato and cheese cohesively. And then you're going to take those potato slices and you're going to put them aside in a bowl. And you're going to repeat the same steps for the rest of the potatoes that you have. Now that our potatoes have been cut up, we're going to move on to seasoning. So for seasoning, we're going to use one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of basil leaves, and one teaspoon of rosemary. And then we're going to take a spoon and mix all of this up. And if you're comfortable, you can also use your hands, but we decided to use a spoon for this specific recipe. All right, now that your potatoes are prepped, you're going to start prepping them for the oven. So first you're going to take a non-stick baking pan and then you're going to line it with parchment paper. Now what the parchment paper will do is that it's going to help you roll the potato roll once it's finished baking. For your first layer, you're going to add the, sh the shredded cheese that we mentioned earlier. And for us, we decided to go with a very thin layer of cheese, but you can add as much cheese you want. In fact, in fact, the more the merrier. Then you're going to start adding your potato slices. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're adding the potato slices is that you want each potato slice to touch one another. What this will do is that it's going to make sure that each potato is binded together along with the cheese and the spinach so that when you're rolling the potato roll, it doesn't fall apart. Also, don't be afraid to completely take off all the slices and keep rearranging them. We did that a couple times, mainly because we wanted to make sure that each potato slice was in a manner that we were happy with. Because when once you put it in the oven, it, that's the end of it. So you have to make sure that each piece is in the right place or in a place that you're comfortable with so that you know that when you're ready to roll it, it won't fall apart. When you're happy with the way that your potatoes are set up, you're going to move on to the next layer, which is going to be another layer of cheese to help bind everything together. And once you add that layer of cheese, you're then going to move on to putting the spinach on top. So when you're adding the spinach, we recommend getting spinach, big spinach leaves so that you're covering a larger area with the spinach and you're not overpowering with the spinach at the same time. So once you add that layer of spinach, you're then going to add another layer of cheese, which will be your last layer, and then you're going to stick it in the oven for 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes until it's golden brown. This is what your potato roll should look like once you take it out of the oven. Okay, so now we're going to move on to rolling your potato roll. So first you're going to take an end of the parchment paper and you're going to keep rolling forward. So you're going to keep rolling and pressing and then you're going to lift the parchment paper out from underneath and keep rolling once again. And you're going to keep doing this until you get to the end and then you'll have your potato roll. Once you've finished rolling it, you can still use the parchment paper as a way of making sure that you've molded it the way that you wanted it. 
So you can just press down on areas that you think are kind of loose and etc. And then you're going to roll it back up into the parchment paper and leave it to sit for about 10 minutes. After letting your potato roll cool for 10 minutes inside the parchment paper, this is what it should look like. And now that it's ready, you can cut it and serve it as you like. You can cut it into thin pieces or very thick pieces depending on how you're serving it. And that's the recipe completed. We garnish the spinach potato rolls with some small yellow tomatoes, but you can garnish it with whatever you'd like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below if you tried the recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever we upload. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching.